Okay, uh, welcome to another daily Elastic Byte session. Today we're going to talk about index management. So I'm going to demo uh, some things about index management, but then like uh, uh, index is center of Elastic Search, and then there are a lot of topics that come in and around uh, Elastic Search, etc. Uh, and then we are going to take some defaults and go through it. Uh, but then, but then overall, uh, I would explain you how index management in Kibana through Kibana works through. But you you, you could see all of this via APIs as well. Uh, so I have this uh, Elasticsearch cluster uh, wherein I have a certain number of indices. So you could you could see the massive number of indices that I have, and we're gonna create some indexes and like assign some uh, index management policies, etc. So. Uh, so let us quickly create a user's index and ingest some data. So I have I have not created any index template or anything, but I just want to show you how this all works in in reality. So I created a in user's index and then I am ingesting like you know a simple sample doc which contains attributes like first name and last name, right? So and as soon as I ingested, uh, we could also go and check the mapping because uh, as you know, Elasticsearch is schema free. Uh, and then you would automatically uh, have some sort of mapping applied at dynamically at the as and when the things start happening, right? So you you see that the property is like text and also like uh, keyword field mapped and then like et cetera, et cetera. Uh, you could also see some sample settings that are applied, uh, number of shards and number of replicas and all those details. Now at this point of time, you this is something that you possibly don't want to happen and you want something else to happen like how do you manage control uh, the the indexes that are created by clients or users if you are a cluster administrator that's where index templates come in and help you to do that so let us quickly create an index template and uh, go through uh, the process of like doing everything so let me uh, maximize it so so uh, the same can be done uh, on an uh, API basis, but I'm, we are using the Kibana UI, and this UI resides in the, you know, the the management part, stack management part, and index management. And then there are multiple menus, but we are gonna see the index template, uh, like you know, uh, in index template creation menu here. Uh, so let us quickly say the template name is users, and someone types uh, the index name with index pattern user hyphen, and then uh, you should apply this index uh, uh, to this particular uh, index template, uh, and which contains a bunch of settings, et cetera. We're gonna go and take a look at that, but you could also have multiple patterns as well, like you know, say this, this, this pattern of index that gets added, and then you apply this particular settings to that when, when, when it starts ingesting or like when it starts creating it as well. So, uh, Again, uh, when the index gets created, there are some settings that gets applied when the documents get in ingested, like the mappings and all will get uh, defined. But you could also predefine all of this and set the defaults by default. So these are the normal fields. Like I could use the priority with something because if I want to apply a specific uh, higher priority of index template, you could do that version. Yes, I'm going to just take defaults and go through it. Uh, we'll come to the component templates in a minute, but then let us quickly create this particular uh, index. So if you want to specifically say have a, a, a number of replicas as different as, as noted below here, right? If by default, there is one replica, but if I want to have two replicas, you could create such sort of settings here or add your specific uh, ILM policy, you could do that. Uh, and uh, if you want to create this, uh, like, you know, a field name and like uh, give a specific sort of, you know, type only, uh, you could do that. like. I have created a first name field. Uh, I could also create a last name field and and more like actually and map them here. So usually people do it with API, etc. You could also do it here. You could also create runtime fields, which is pretty new and which has a lot of use cases. Then also you could create dynamic templates or pattern based recognition of uh, your fields, etc. So we're not we are not going to do all of that. But like I, as I explained, like. These are the things that can apply when you're trying to create a template like this aliases and review template. You would also go and see that how this template would be applied in reality when you create this template. So now uh, just remember that this template won't be applied to an existing index that we have created. This will only be applied when you start creating a fresh index. So I just wanna like you know delete the users and that, that we have created and again start ingesting the data. So let us quickly click uh, and create this index uh, by this time you should also already see the mapping and everything uh created uh, but let us ingest the document and quickly see what what sort of mapping that exists here like see as you see that 
the first name and the last name is keyword and then you'll also see that the uh, the settings for this particular uh, the shards are, are different for this one so this is how a index template works in general and then now we could go more specialty like suppose if you are indexing time series data then uh, what you do like you could you could create another template and this is for custom indexing like you say if you are not using file beats and default uh, template structure and if you are using uh, a custom index and you want to create your own settings you could still use the index template management here say if i want to create an index with my logs and uh, or like say hyphen star and uh, or like say let us create my hyphen star itself so that i could use anything we're not talking about data stream yet we will come to that in a minute again the priority version if you have multiple index templates and you want one template to specifically take advantage of it you could do that now what are these component templates so co what component templates does is like uh, these are small modular uh, setting uh, components that help you to like you know initialize these uh, specific log fields or etc so if you have uh, say uh, uh, ecs uh, mode of uh, in the, in ingesting the data etc so you could use that so these are like mapping settings and aliases related stuff so i am adding the mappings and logging log settings etc if you want to learn more about it we have done in the season one more details on uh, component templates index templates and more more information about even data stream so please take a look at that video as well uh, we will link it in somewhere here and then you see all the settings here uh, about what what details that would it would add etc etc so and then like the index settings uh, you should definitely look at uh, adding at least uh, index uh, uh, management policy like say uh, this one okay just uh, let me open the screen uh, you could specifically add uh, something uh, like this and add a rollover alias so imagine if you don't add uh, things like these and uh, a specific setting if you have missed something and then uh, if you have uh, added this particular index and uh, created this index template what happens in reality is like you would uh, you would probably see an error when the ilm policy is running over this particular index so let us create this template and uh, let us go ahead and uh, create this uh, you know the new new index now i have given a specific ilm policy which i have created it is a sample simple by all defaults ilm policy and that i have given in this particular index template so i have created a second one and then now let us uh, start a, a index or create an index my user logs so because our pattern has my hyphen star the index settings which we have created will apply and it has an index lifecycle policy my ilm and let us create a document in it and then let us watch the settings so now because that we have added a specific sort of settings you would see uh, that settings get applied here uh, similarly to the mapping as well uh, you could create all of that uh, default settings as part of this index now like i said because i don't didn't add a rollover template or because i didn't uh, do specific stuff i might see errors like you could the advantage of this ui is you, you could see errors in this particular console you could also see what's wrong with this uh, index and what i didn't add specifically so that you could go and fix this particular you know uh, the index lifecycle uh, the, the the index template itself so let me go and fix that uh, so okay so so now i have uh, the in index specific setting and then okay let me we paste it and now i could add this rollover uh, alias uh, which rolls my index over when the when the ilm policy gets triggered and i could go and review the template see how it looks like when it gets uh, into action save the template i could again run the go to the ilm policy and uh, you know go to go to the action and like you know run this particular ilm or we would we would let it let it uh, let it happen uh, by itself like say uh, we could we could uh, do that like retry the life cycle step and uh, it would fix the errors uh, that is one good way to look at things now uh, what we haven't done here is create a data stream or what data streams is data streams is also an important concept that's going to replace a lot of things and change a lot of things into uh, file beat and every everywhere that you ingest data uh, into Elasticsearch, it's it's going to be the default ingest experience so and uh, the the whole concept of index templates and data streams and everything will play a major role in all of this actually so so i have uh, i have this particular again let us go through the 
uh, what do you call the the index management here again and uh, let us create another another uh, index or another template with log uh, the data stream and uh, and click quickly see the results uh, okay okay let me create another index template with uh, say my logs ds hope i have, don't have this particular name otherwise we'll change it and say ds hyphen star uh, or like let us not put ds let us put uh, like arvind hyphen star if someone creates uh, a data stream with this particular template and just please apply this particular template and use this particular logs so it's all the same but you you don't need to give a specific role over alias because data streams will create the index and roles over according to the policy and everything that you have created so it's quite easy and uh, you don't need to like specifically say uh, all all these nitty gritties that we are talking about all the time so uh, it it manages the stuff by itself so data streams is a very uh, cool concept to kind of like look at uh, so i would definitely recommend you to like you know take a take a look at data streams actually okay let me let me keep that and uh, yeah i think this is a problem great so so let let us quickly uh, create this template and uh, create a data stream and see uh, okay as i expected so create uh, a, a, a data stream out of it and then um, take a look at everything okay now we have created this particular uh, data stream if someone creates uh, like you know aravind hyphen something and then um, uh, we should be able to see uh, we should be able to see uh, index template applied with the same settings but we'll create a data stream instead of an index and all the settings will still be applied uh, to the underlying indexes so if i create aravind logs and then put a you know uh, put put a put a data stream you should be able to see uh, that particular uh, index template applied to this uh, this this entire you know settings, and you will still be able to see uh, under the index management uh, data streams concept and like you know all the all the information and what policy is applied and what settings are applied. So that's it about the index management. It's a lot, and there are more things to cover. Uh, but I hope you got some uh, information about this. Uh, thanks for watching uh, today's daily Elastic Byte, and uh, we'll see you soon tomorrow in another session. Thank you.